Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Apex 1000 meter dive watch. So this is a tough dive watch. As the name suggests, you can take it down to a thousand meters. Uh, it actually has a helium release valve in it. So if you're diving down to those sort of depths and you get helium caught up on the inside, you can release it as you start to ascend. Uh, this, you should be doing this in a dry chamber, obviously for commercial saturation diving. Um, but yeah, as a general day-to-day tough watch that you can take with you on a dive it's definitely worth a look so this is how it arrives um, nice little presentation case with a cardboard sleeve uh, it's barcodes and stuff on the outside that's pretty much it uh, leather at uh, pre uh, presentation case pretty smart uh, so the hinge is open you get the uh, the user manual obviously have a quick flick through that uh, this is for each yeah the the entire watch range how they all work how to change and set the date and the time and all that stuff uh, warranty information all that kind of stuff uh, environmental protection how to dispose of it uh, after its life and all that then we get the watch itself with the uh, the little um, sort of spacer uh, so yeah, let's take a closer look at the watch itself. So first of all, undoing the strap, standard stainless steel buckle uh, on this nice, smooth, uh, almost silicone rubber strap. Uh, the strap feels good, nice and uh, sort of strong. Some of the silicone ones, they, they kind of stretch a bit too much for my liking, but this one feels nice and strong, um, but not like tough and brittle. There is still plenty of flex in it. Little retainer as well. You get these waves that you find on most uh, dive watches. This is uh, sort of suspension, for lack of a better word. Um, if you're wrapping on the outside of your wetsuit or your dry suit, and that compresses and expands uh, sort of at depth as you're diving, this just compensates for it to uh, to hold onto the um, uh, hold onto your wrist. On the underside, uh, a big warning that I'll go into a little bit later, basically to screw down all of the crowns, all of these uh, crowns, because if they're unscrewed, I can let water in, so make sure they're screwed in before you get into the water. This has two crowns. Um, this one here, the offset one, this is for changing the date and the time. Uh, you've got three different um, sort of positions in that, um, unscrewed, and that's how we, um, you can change the time, push it in once, and that's how you uh, change the date, and then push it again, and then screw it all the way in, finger tight. That's how you know it's watertight. The other one, this is your helium release valve. So if you're diving at extreme depths in high helium environments, helium is quite a slippery gas. It can get into little mechanisms like this, even when they are shut. So when you go to ascend and the gases start to expand, it can damage the, uh, the watch. So you need to allow it to um, escape. So you unscrew that when you're ascending. Obviously you can't do that underwater, but, uh, but yeah, if you're diving in a, um, uh, sort of saturation chamber environment you open that up and it just means it's not going to damage your watch screw it back in all the way and that way it's watertight again the face itself is got a black face so it's a high contrast black face very easy to see in low light conditions if you shine a torch in it as well it's not going to glare back quite as much as a white face all of the uh, the details on here these glow in the dark so very easy to see and these glow for a long period as well after seeing any kind of light so hours after shining a torch on them they're still going to glow a little bit again high contrast face very easy to read you get the rotating bezel as well it's a one-way ratchet rotate so it won't go clockwise you won't be able to rotate that but if you rotate it counterclockwise it will this is useful for timing things especially dives so you get the uh, the little arrow point that towards the minute hand and then as the minute hand rotates naturally as time passes it's always timing how long you've been under the water so at a quick glance you can tell roughly what your dive time is so very quick and easy to uh, to understand and then again back to a very traditional strap and that's the Apex 1000 meter dive watch, a good sturdy watch, uh, something that you can wear day to day. It looks good, it's pretty subtle, uh, nothing too obtrusive, but you can also take it to pretty much any depth. Um, yeah, good, tough, decent dive watch. There'll be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's gonna be a link down in the description below so you can check it out and buy it from us. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Mm -hmm.